I'm Quincy Sammy, and our company, Carbix, is capturing CO2 and turning it into stone. Not just any stone, specifically carbonates, the mineral grit that becomes the bulk of raw material for cement and concrete products. And our entire process is carbon negative. Our first pilot project is with Everest Energy Partners in Dallas, Texas. They own and operate over 112 wells and platforms in the Fort Worth and Arcoma Basin. They have a greenhouse gas problem, so we're going to make them carbon negative cement so that they can cap old wells that are leaking methane. We visited the site recently and we look forward to starting this pilot project as soon as next month. We're also looking forward to being listed on Puro.Earth for pre-sales. This is the world's first B2B carbon credit exchange. At this site, emitters can purchase our carbon credits for prices upwards of $80 per metric ton. We've also been in continuous dialogue with multinational cement and concrete ready mix producers like Dangote West Africa and Mitsubishi Cement Company. Interestingly enough, the Japanese government has strict mandates for cement and concrete ready mix producers that they reduce their CO2 emissions by 30% by 2030. For direct air capture, our license partner is Mission Zero based in the United Kingdom. And we also look forward to working with smaller producers in the kitchen and countertop space to produce hybrid quartz carbonate countertops. Here's what has cement and concrete companies excited about what we're doing. It's the amount of CO2 that we can uptake per ton or per yard of concrete and the speed at which we can do it. For comparison, Carbon Cure is a 13-year-old company in our space. Our process results in a 3x more increase in CO2 and as a result, a 7x increase in the net CO2 over the product life cycle. Also, a higher rate of carbonation results in more revenue streams from subscription exchanges and credits. Now let's talk about speed. This is the Carbix X1 reactor coming out of final assembly and functional test. In nature, CO2 will turn to stone naturally over about a thousand years. In certain projects where CO2 is piped underground in the presence of magnesium minerals like phosphorite, it will turn to stone in about two years. But in the Carbix X1 reactor, this happens in a matter of hours. We do this with a combination of heat, pressure, and UVC light. UVC is energetic enough to enhance reaction kinetics in much the same way that your dentist does when making a new tooth, then hardening it with light. So this data that I have to show you doesn't come from our X1 since it was in final assembly, but from our benchtop prototype. This was a low pressure and low heat test conducted over a three week period, our baseline test. We sent the data to Bureau Veritas, a laboratory in British Columbia, Canada, where they performed an X-ray diffraction and thin suction petrology test. The results showed a 30% uptake of CO2 in the form of magnesium and salt carbonates. The global market opportunity is a construction industry valued at nearly a trillion dollars. Cement and concrete is the second most used product in the world. The only thing we humans consume more is water. Our products are sustainable and re increase the life of concrete structures with shorter production time. It also, they also reduce salt accumulation, reduce water permeability, and more, most importantly, can eliminate nearly 80% of the emissions associated with cement making. We produce two primary product variants, magnesium and calcium carbonates and calcium oxides. The calcium oxides are for OPC. Portland cement is the primary ingredient selected by architects for structural and layout configurations. Now, while our reactor uses heat, pressure, mixing, and light energy, all of which, well, consume energy, it's important to note that our process is entirely carbon negative. And as a result, we can monetize our credits on exchanges like Puro.Earth. We can sink the carbonates into geological storage or storage in concrete. And we're also in discussion with several very prominent tech companies who want to purchase our credits, household names. And we have one more way that we'd like to monetize our carbonates. 
Right now, individual consumers have very few ways in which they can offset their own personal carbon footprint. But on our website, we will offer direct to consumers the opportunity to purchase individual carbon sequestration offsets. We believe that in year five, with estimated revenue of 100 million, we can be profitable. Managing that, we will have to manage our CO2 and ore costs, as well as energy costs with proprietary energy recovery devices that can eliminate or reduce 20% of our energy cost. At, this, at a scale of about 150 cubic meters, we can safely trap about 562,000 metric tons of CO2. In driving revenue are a mix of carbonate and oxide sales, as well as exchange and subscription revenue. And this is the team and partnership that will make that pilot project and our commercialization efforts a success. Dr. Vineet Deej is an expert in wind energy, fluid dynamics, and machine learning. He is developing fluid model solvers to enhance reaction kinetics. Sumit Desai is also a mechanical engineer by training, and he has been actively developing our business component, reaching out to multinational cement and concrete ready mix producers to bring them in as customers. Myself, I have over 10 years in clean tech design and engineering, and I lead our efforts in IP development, prototyping, and fundraising. We believe that the moment and opportunity for carbon use technology has arrived. Join us as a partner so that we can all ambitiously begin capturing and using CO2 with our technologies and create carbon negative societies. Thank you for your time and I can be reached at Johan Sammy at CarbonScore.com. Appreciate it.